And now to some exclusive reporting on the Syrian crisis and word that Russian troops are headed to Syria. NBC's Jim Mikulshevsky is at the Pentagon. Mick, what have you learned? Chris, U.S. Official, uh, officials tell NBC News that a Russian ship carrying Russian military forces is making its way out of the Black Sea and headed to the Russian port city there in Syria, the only deep water port for Russia outside its own borders. Uh, now, to be clear, these officials are not indicating that these are any kind of large numbers of combat forces that intend to get directly involved in the fighting there in Syria, but instead they describe it as a small contingent of armed military uh, that are headed to uh, Syria to provide security for Russian assets, ships, and their base there at that port city in Syria. There's no sign here, to be clear, uh, that the Russians intend to get directly involved in any of the fighting there. Nevertheless, uh, some already see the move of sending even a handful of Russian forces there as somewhat provocative. And there's a little bit of confusion about Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's claim earlier this week uh, that the Russians were sending additional attack helicopters to Syria. Uh, some claim that that intelligence is still good, but we're also being told this morning that it appears that as the Russians claim, the Russians are only sending helicopter parts uh, to repair or equip uh, those helicopters that the Syrians already received from the Russians. Nevertheless, officials even see parts as parts contributing to the Syrian war effort there. And just very quickly, even though the Pentagon is looking at all possible contingencies, not planning yet, but looking at all possible contingencies for any kind of military intervention in Syria. A senior Pentagon official here told us today that the White House, President Obama, has not asked for any military plans to intervene in any way in Syria, Chris. Mick, thanks for staying on top of it. I know it's a fast-moving story.